Uh, uh, good morning everybody. Today uh, we are going to see three interesting color changing reactions. Okay. So at first uh, the group test for uh, that means group 1 radicals. Say we have uh, as you know a lead is present in a group 1. So how will you test that uh, uh, the presence of uh, lead in any solution, right? So uh, let me prepare, okay, let me prepare a solution of lead. I am like taking very pinch amount of lead, very little, okay, very little. So, uh, so that I will uh, prepare a uh, lead uh, solution, solution containing lead iron and I will detect by using dilute HCl, okay. Uh, by uh, by uh, adding dilute HCl to it, as you know, uh, the group reagent of what? You see, this is the uh, you know uh, lead uh, nitrate I have, so a lead ion is there. It is very colorless solution. You see, so when I am adding uh, dilute HCl to it, so it is giving you what? You see, by you giving you a white precipitate right so you had solution containing lead and then you are adding dilute HCl so the white precipitate confirms you that it contains a group 1 basic radicals so this is a very interesting chemical reaction so okay thank you so next we will go to another uh, interesting chemical reaction how the color changes to uh, yellow so again I am uh, taking another uh, you know test tube making uh, taking this lead ion a little bit very little bit ions so you see I'm having a solution of this this is a colorless solution okay I'm uh, putting it here okay in another uh, test tube I'm taking potassium iodide solution okay I'm taking potassium iodide solution this is you see potassium iodide solution So, uh, so taking the solution of potassium iodide, I will add uh, to the lead solution, solution containing lead, then uh, that will give you a very interesting chemical change and uh, color change reaction. You see, uh, this was uh, the lead colorless solution, and when I am adding it into it. They, both of them are colorless and how this is potassium iodide, this is lead nitrate solution containing lead. So another uh, method to confirm the presence of lead ion is that you add potassium iodide into how you see it became completely yellow. So the color change to yellow confirming you that it contains lead. Thank you. It is very interesting, right? So this is the next reaction. Next I will show you one um, Another uh, good reaction, uh, color changing reaction, uh, when I am adding failing A and failing B, how uh, that will uh, convert a complete blue color. See, I have test tube like this, I am taking failing A in this, which looks like this, ah, light green, okay. So when I will add it into uh, failing B, you know, Telling V is sodium potassium tartarate, tartaric acid of sodium potassium. This is failing V. I am adding, you see what happens when I am adding failing V. How, wow, this is a very, uh, you know, uh, good color change reaction, right? Failing A and failing B, how a deep blue coloration is prepared. It is another big reaction. Okay, this is the third. Okay, then uh, we will go for another good uh, reaction interesting reaction of uh, phenol thalane as you know phenol thalane changes color becomes pink when comes into contact of acid so the next reaction what i was want to show you is that i am taking alkali this is the alkaline medium and i will add okay this is I'll add this is I'm taking alkaline solution and we'll, I will see this is 
you see this is the colorless uh, solution of what uh, this is the colorless solution of phenol thalate I'm adding you see this is phenol thalate this is phenol thalate this is colorless okay so this is the alkaline medium so we will add this phenol thalate into uh, uh, this uh, as a basic medium means alkaline medium see, see what happens whole of the color becomes pink okay it is one another uh, very uh, interesting chemical reaction so we have four important chemical reaction uh, here so here you see this chemical reactions how it is changing four of them one two three four uh, they are uh, yellow white uh, blue and pink color thank you uh, we'll discuss in the next class